Hi guys, so today you're not joining me in session, but we are joining Louis Brits. He's had an amazing session, a beautiful new PB, 50 pounds, well done. Thank you very much. It's not something that happens every day, so we thought we'll just meet up and chat about it, a bit of tactics, some behind the scenes that you don't normally get to see. And uh, yeah, so let's hear what Louis has to say. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you for coming through. No I do problem. appreciate it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an amazing feeling. I, I'm still in cloud number nine, so... Uh, I've been looking for this 50 pounder for almost 13 years now sure. yeah. um, Breaking my PB that was holed up at top lake at a 21 kilo Okay, and uh, yesterday morning it, uh, it it just happened and it's it's still surreal uh, yeah. Thinking of having a 50 pounder my first one doing specimen for 15 years So it's been a journey. Eh? And it does make it a bit difficult. I know you do guided trips so obviously you put your clients first, um, so many of times you've given away seriously big fish, if I can put it like that, not physically or literally, but you know, you put your clients first, yeah. you get their lines out, you teach them, you help them, yeah. and for a change you actually got the other side of the coin. Yeah, it was actually amazing, I went out, I dropped the line exactly last year this time, I had a 40 on that specific swim, Okay. Um, did exactly the same tactics that I did last year, and uh, I was actually so tired yesterday morning and I was laying on the bed I was cooking uh, boiling water for a bit of tea and uh, I heard the alarm just beep once and I looked out I saw that the bobbin had a backdrop uh, I left it and I saw that it went up like five centimeters sure. they didn't do anything on the alarm I ran out stood at the back of the rod and it picked up again and I just just hit it and I knew the moment when I picked it up it was a it was a serious fish mm. So yeah, and the fight was, uh, it wasn't a big fight. It fought, fought a lot in the front here at the bank, but yeah, when I had it in the net, <laughs> the sight of that thing just in the net, laying there, that, that, that gigantic fish, I just knew Definitely it, it had to. Definitely a fish of a lifetime. Yeah, yeah, for sure, eh? for sure. Yeah, so it is spawn time now. The fishing is, it's difficult, so it does make it harder and most guys actually don't fish throughout this time um, so it just shows you, you know you do persist you will get the fish and the 50 is not the only fish they've had they've had what a couple of 15 kilo carps yeah we had the 15 on a dot we had a 14.9 we had a 15.6 a 13.3 13.2 um, most most of them spawned out but except for the 15.6 and the, uh, the 50 okay. pounder um, all of them full of marks, obviously indicating that they were, were busy spawning or finished with spawning. Yeah, yeah. But you are definitely not um, expected to do this well in this time of the year. Yeah. Now, most people don't fish this time of year. But again, so we had a bit of a cold front before the weekend. In extremely hot weather, yes, the fish do spawn and it makes the fishing really difficult. If you do watch the weather like Louis did, he saw the cold front coming through, brought his clients, they've had an amazing session. And uh, it's paid off. I mean, 50 pounds. Sure. It's literally a fish of a lifetime. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm amazed. I, 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 to pick up that rod with clients, and to know that that's my rod setup that yes. I, I that I put out for myself. And luckily, the clients were lenient enough to let me fish with them. Okay. So yeah, that was actually flipping awesome. I believe. Yeah, that's awesome. So on that note, for you guys that don't know, Louis has got his hands in a lot of things. He's got the, spe the specimen politics. Yeah. Um, he's got the LMB Traders, which is your raffle groups. For you guys that don't know, I'll put a link in the description to the links. You can join the groups, join the raffles. For you guys that are new into specimen and really want to learn, Louis does guided trips. You can chat him about packages and stuff. Again, I'll put the number in the description. You guys can chat to him. And um, so a little bit more about tactics, bait-wise, what did you do to get this big fish? So, Brandon, yeah, um, I mean, I do a lot of things a bit different to most anglers. I would say there's like 20% of the specimen community that, that does do, do what I normally do. I like to prep my, uh, my millies and my, my particles, and I'm a more particle guy than okay. a boily guy. I like to sour up my baits a month ahead of a session, so I'll have four or five buckets in my uh, garage, busy uh, souring up, uh, fermenting them quite, quite uh, well. Sometimes I remove a thick <laughs> mat of, of myth of it, you know. Yeah. Um, I only use um, maize, uh, white maize and yellow maize with a bit of uh, hemp. I've, I've left tigers actually, in actual fact, on this specific venue. I do, however, add um, specific uh, feed to that mixes when I go out to like really copies or Quachasuk or Tanin okay. when we used to fish Tanin. Yeah. But on this specific venue, I like my baits to be absolutely sour. I wash them before the session 
I actually dry them out before the session and then I rehydrate them okay. uh, before the session as well with uh, Essential Angling's Lunka um, Sweet Corn Deluxe and with the uh, Tiger Nut Extract. Gives a punchy flavor out of it. Um, I don't feed a lot when I'm on this lake. I, I recommend, highly recommend it that when you come to this venue and you want to get a lot of fish, you don't feed a lot. Just fish uh, one fish at a time. Yeah, one fish at a time. Uh, just like one hand full of baits. You can even count them down if you want. Okay. Um, and for the guys that's uh, that's fishing uh, Donaldson Bottom Lake, don't be scared of, of the salt. Um, a lot of guys go for the gravel bed on the other side of the reeds. Uh, don't be um, scared of it. Um, on rig wise, uh, there's a saying in the community, I've uh, got an LB rig. It's not because of the mechanics, but it's because of the, the, the fakes that I use. Okay. I mainly um, use fakes on my hairs, uh, two two millimeter 10 mil boilies that I use, a red and yellow one, a very distinctive rig. Um, and it's proven itself. It's not about what's on your hair. It's about what you put around your okay. your hair itself. So yeah, and then basically just leaving the rods in until you hit success. You might do redo a couple of rods through the session, but I'm one for maybe like if you see a fish show in different areas, yes. you might just move a fish a rod over. For sure, like in the Bay Area, three four weekends back, we the fish was showing that we were getting ready to go and uh, spawn in the grass. Yeah. And we, we actually cast. I did a casting session. It was very strange because I'm a boat guy. Yes, yeah. And we got a 15, a 14, and the client got a 17. Sure. So I was stoked about that. So it, it's exactly what you say. You have to keep your eyes on the water, mm -hmm. look where the fish show, and then target them from there on forward. That's a deal. And like you say, your client had a 17. So Louis has a record of getting his client to some seriously big fish. Yeah. So like I say, if you do want to get involved and you want to jump on and learn from Louis, you're more than welcome to get hold of him. He hasn't been around since yesterday. When did you start specimen fishing? Brandon, I started way back in 2007. Okay. Um, the first two years, I, I always tell my clients and some of the friends that I've got, uh, when we started way back, there was no information. You had to go into the internet mm. and you couldn't ask the internet questions really from, uh, let's say, a, a UK's perspective. And there was no information in the South African market. Yeah. So for the first two years that I started, I were every single weekend for that two years, doesn't matter if it were, there was a wedding or my wife had a birthday, I was at the lake here. Okay. I was putting in the time, I was tried and tested stuff from the beginning. Um, four years on top, like uh, Gary showed me ways of fishing that. Uh, I had a guy that actually started to teach me, Roger Brace Girdle. Still an old guy, still around, still doing fishing. Okay. And he was the guy that actually got me into specimen and doing it in a proper um, fashion. Yes, yeah. It's all about ethics at the end of the day, uh, Brandon. Um, you know it, you've mm. been around the block as well. It's about doing it in the correct manner and having respect for the for, for the fish at the end of the day. That's it, And yeah. your fellow, fellow uh, anglers. anglers yeah. yeah. I know when I started in, I think it was 2008, we were watching videos on cassette. Yeah. So I think it was a Fox range of videos yeah. that it came out and then every now and again we'd get a magazine from overseas. Exactly, yeah. And I think that time there was maybe one or two shops here. Um, what's that shop in Kruger's Door? Um, that was African Gold. Yeah, there was and, that uh, shop. Hyper Porn. Yeah, Hyper Those Porn. are the guys that actually, mm. and, and uh, well, just be, just after that, um, uh, Henko started. Yes. Right. Um, and then Tackle Talk came, uh, came around. Oh, those are very those old are the days. days. Yeah, that's think, way back. Yeah, my phone was still open on Tackle Talk's website permanently. <laughs> I would bringing stuff every week and then I jumped on yeah. to tacklebox.co.uk and then started importing my stuff. Yeah. Now you just walk in the shop and everything's available. Yeah, it's actually getting, uh, it's getting, the access is much better. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's quite expensive, but if you do it in the right manner and don't just buy anything that you see on the shelf. That's it. Because that's where guys get um, bogged up and, and spending a lot of money. They don't know what they're going to use. They don't know what to use for what. And they just buy a lot of stuff that don't make sense. This looks cool. That looks yeah. cool. Yeah, and and I, I mean that's what I teach the guys when they come through the school, to wait until you buy, come through the school, pay the school fees, instead of paying into stuff that you're not going to use in the future. That's and it, yeah. and it works brilliant. And on that note, I saw recently you started an online shop. Yeah, I must say I didn't expect it, Brandon. It was not uh, part of the plan. Okay. Um, to tell you a short story. Way back when I started here at, at Donaldson Dam, I had a dream of having a trailer 
with gear in and going from one swim to another and yeah. seeing if somebody wanted uh, or needed something because you always rock up here. And, oh, shucks, I need this. Uh, exactly. Bait stops or a needle yeah. breaks. Or. So it, it just happened. I mean, the raffles actually, um, it, it started last year in February and uh, Raffle Aids has grown from strength to strength. We've got two WhatsApp groups. The one is permanently full of 257 members. Sure. The second group is growing to its maximum capacity at 211 members at the moment. Um, LMB Traders has started their second um, group now. Okay. So the first one where we do live auctions on uh, second-hand gear and brand new gear. Okay. That has, to, has taken off. Uh, specimen politics, obviously, the guided sessions that we're doing. And then, like you say now, the Specimen Tackle website, mm. specimentackle.ca.za. Uh, Eugene from uh, Cop, uh, Cop Carpeuna. Yeah. He's helping me with that, so okay. thank you very much for that, Eugene. And uh, yeah, we're growing with our clients. Uh, we don't have the full range of everything yet. We're prominently Nash and Rich Monkey. Okay. Uh, we are going to have a meeting next week or uh, we, in the first week of November uh, with Jackal so that we can cater for all of the low end and the top end guys. Okay. So we're not there to make a hell of a lot of money. We want to make it more accessible money wise and to get the gear out to you guys in a in an orderly manner. So the guys will just order online and you'll just then ship it yes. through to them? There's a, everything is online, so basically you pop onto the website, go and check what you want, you can filter through brands or okay. end tackle or baits. Uh, we sell the whole range of uh, essential angling, uh, lunker range as well, from the line all the way to the liquids. Okay. Um, and that's what I use guys, and it's, it's really a, a good product to have in your arsenal. Um, in your base. That sounds good. I'm looking forward to what's coming. Yeah. You know, as soon as you think everyone's hit their peak, there's always just this hello, yeah. pop up, something new. Yeah, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, uh, I've got a saying, I don't want to beat the mainstream guys. I don't want to be bigger than the mainstream guys in Joburg. We all got our own place. Uh, the only thing is that I want to be better than what I was yesterday mm -hmm. in assisting people that is converting from conventional, the old pop koi way, to specimen and the guys that's currently doing specimen to perform better in what they uh, are recently doing or currently being busy with yeah. um, and growing the sport in that nature and protecting our, our lakes and the, and the fish that we want to catch. Well, so if you start someone off in the right way, fish care, yeah. this is what you do, this is what you don't do, I mean the we get death rigs out there Yeah. and uh, I thought you were alarmed. Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got the receiver. Okay, yeah. so yeah, yeah um, probably the next guy next door. Yeah. So you know, by teaching the guys the right way, we won't get these death rigs, which means we won't have fish that die. Yeah. Um, you know, if you want to know more, again, like I say, get hold of Louis. You guys can chat about it. Um, join his one of his sem seminars, um, weekend fishing. Yeah. Donaldson, Red Copies. You know, where else yeah, do you guys go? We go up to Clip Copy uh, okay. with extended uh, extended times. Don't really do just weekends uh, okay. up to the bigger lakes. Uh, in the olden days when uh, Tanin and Donald, uh, the Tanin and Dorengrai still existed, we did it that way. We're okay. still doing it to Klasiri, the big lake on Klasiri. Uh, we do it up to Hartis. So there's a variety of lakes that we do. And if you are requesting a specific lake that you would like me to do, I'm available to go down to Ananda. I'm available okay. to go to Ndoni, all of those lakes. So it's not just what I want to recommend, it's what you want me so to uh, do. So if you're fishing a venue and you are battling and you want some of Louis' insight, Get hold of him, arrange with him, and I'm sure he'll put together some sort of package for you, and then um, go help you on your own home water yeah. um, to make break your PB or just learn some more. Yeah, tactics. Okay, that sounds good. Thanks for your time, Louis. Thank you very much, Brandon. And uh, yeah, hopefully a couple more fifties to come. Yeah, for sure. I can't wait for the next one. Yeah, awesome. Thanks.